This is 1945. This is Tom in 1945. This is the swimming hole where Tom would go to play. This is how far it was from Tom's house. This is how Tom got there. This is 1963. This is John. This is the barbershop where John would go to get a haircut. This is how far it was from John's house. This is how he got there. This is 1984. This is Jennifer. This is Jennifer's school. This is how far it was from Jennifer's house. This is how she got there. This is today. This is how far many kids today are allowed to walk. This is how they usually get to school. In 1969, the percentage of children walking or biking to school was nearly 50%. By 2009, it had fallen to just 13%. Today's kids have lost their freedom to roam and have become dependent on their parents to literally get anywhere at all. This didn't just happen. It was a result of a series of choices to build our cities and towns around the needs of cars instead of kids and people. It has made our children less healthy. It has placed a larger time burden on parents. It costs our society not only in extra transportation expenses, but makes our world more polluted, louder, dangerous, and less livable. Today, parents play chauffeur and kids sit passively in the back seat instead of walking and biking exploring their world, and learning skills to become independent and successful adults. We all need to work to fix our world so that kids can regain their freedom to roam.